Am I live? I don't know. Am I live? Alright, am I live, guys? Am I live? You tell me. Can you hear me? Can you see me? I don't know. I think I'm live on my Streamlabs, but I don't see the live on the YouTube, so... You guys tell me. Am I... Am I vivo? Am I live? You can hear the motorcycle outside. What is up? Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you had a, a good Thanksgiving. Hope you ate a good amount of turkey, some salads, some rice, some beans. So yes, 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 and yes, I am live. I guess I don't need the YouTube thing because it's not telling me I'm live, you know. And I don't see the chat going on here. I see the chat going on over here. So. Whatever. Guess I'll just move this over here so that way I can see the chat in front of me and I can actually talk to you guys. And I'll just keep the editing program over here, you know. So this is something I just recently did guys, so so let's see, open recent. Let's see, I wanna start something over. Let me go to new here. General Guard. Delete this. So. Oh, you caught the flu? Okay, now that sucks. That that's gotta suck. I I was sick uh, about I was sick a couple weeks ago, and it wasn't the flu, but I had something bad because I was I was out of it for like five days. Uh, so it it wasn't like the best feeling in the world where is it Chun Li Chun Li Chun Li Chun Li this is the Chun Li helmet but that's not what I'm looking for How long you been sick now? You've been sick for like a like a couple days or you just recently just got sick? And how's everybody else doing? How did how's everybody else uh, celebrate their Thanksgiving? Did people go out, spend some time with the family. That's a big shield. Gotta add some color to this. This thing looks horrible and in black and white, we don't we don't want no black and white. Want some? It's not bad, not bad. You know, a little orangey for my taste, but you know. Single object uh, vertex texture. Okay, texture is fine. Uh, yeah, I just want to darken the background. I don't like the gray. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So I recently just did this. I finished this sucker last night. The Phoenix armor for Chun Li, the Chun Li Ranger. Ah, uh, now okay. Yeah. I hope you're you know taking some Panadol or some some Tylenol or something like that because you know you're gonna really need to rest. You gotta relax. You know. Uh, you gotta try to you know get as much rest as you possibly possibly can. You know, drink some liquids and everything like that. Not, then I don't mean drink coffee or anything because that don't count. Yeah, 
even though that's what I'm drinking, you know, you know, you gotta drink a lot of water. You gotta drink a lot of water, keep yourself cool, everything. Jordan, how long did that chess piece take to design? Uh, this chess piece right here didn't really take that much time. Is that I was working on other projects at the same time, uh, so I guess, and I did take some time off uh, before I added the symbol, before I added the the the, the symbol piece in the middle. Uh, so I guess with the breaks and everything, I'd say it took me about a week, maybe maybe more, because I, I did take some time off, and it wasn't, it's not a commission for somebody, I just, I saw the trailer for, for Chun-Li and everything, and I was like, I, I want to make this, I, I want to, I want to make Chun-Li's, you know, armor, and so, you know, it's like, I gotta make it, I gotta make it. Uh, but before that, you know, I actually made this the import. Let me see. I'll show you right now because uh, to go along with it, I made the helmet first. So, and I, that's the one thing I wanted. To, I wanted to make the helmet first because I saw the design. It was like, like the, the design of the helmet was amazing. And I just got, I gotta put it up here. Needs to be a little bit bigger. Looks too small. It looks like the like we got like a football player with some uh, with some shoulder pads. So I'm gonna adjust this so we can actually get it in the right place. You know, get, get it nice and centered. a little bit on the big side. So yeah. Now we have, as you guys can see right there, we have the Chun-Li helmet and the Chun-Li shield. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, you know, like, not really much left that I needed to make of this because I'm not going to be working with fabric. I don't sew. Uh, Made the attempt sewing years ago, back when I was in eighth grade. I the closest I ever came to making something nice was a little tiny pillow with my initials on it. So that's about it. That's the that's the closest I ever came to to sewing anything. And I don't have a sewing machine anyway, so I'm not gonna sew anything. Uh, but I just made this because I I thought it was like the the perfect thing to have. Uh, because I had a feeling there were going to be some girls out there that cosplay as Chung Li and that might want to cosplay as the, her ranger form now that she's got a ranger form. Which, it was a long time waiting. It was a long time waiting. People were like waiting for this thing for forever, you know, like thinking, because there was a fan art and I did uh, have my friend Robert, he, you know, he modeled the fan art version, but obviously they didn't go with the cat. For her, like I think it was like a panther or a puma or something like that. For Chun Li, they decided to go with a phoenix. So, and they actually gave her a chest shield that's almost kind of similar to Ryu's um, Ranger form because the shield has got kind of like that similar thing for the shoulders a little bit, not, not too much, but it's it's kind of close, but not not exactly close enough. So. You know, it's, it's 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 there, but it's not there. So, you know, what can you do? Yeah, and honestly, this program is not as hard as I originally thought it was. Cause when you're when you're starting out, you would assume that you know things like this would be so hard, and you can't figure it out. But and also, you have that issue that you know. You can make one side, but then when you try to make the other side, they don't really match up. You know, there's there's always going to be something off from the other side. Yeah, but that's the good thing uh, about this program, actually, 
Uh, let's see if I can find a, a picture here because you, because with this program you can actually use, you know, images. You can actually use images to you know, you know, do your art. So let's see if I can actually find it right here. I'm gonna look for the picture that I want. I'm gonna give it a name so that way it's easier to find. I'm gonna give it a name. Uh, let's see. Alright, so give it a name so now I'll be able to find it a little bit more clearly because when you're working with files and you, you save a picture on the internet, you're, most of the time you're gonna be getting, you're gonna be getting numbers, and I'm not, a, I'm not a, someone that can memorize numbers. I can memorize a, a few phone numbers here and there. I don't get a lot of phone numbers. Yeah, that's why I'm single. I don't get a lot of phone numbers. I don't, I don't go on a lot of dates. You know, I'm a single geek of a guy. You can even ask one of the girls in this room because she's known me for years. Maybe a little bit too long. <laughs> Probably known me a little too long. You know, if, you know, like talking over, whew, over 15 years. You know, she's no, she's known me since high school, and now I'm 40 years old. It's a lot of years to know somebody, and you don't expect to know somebody for that long. Like we don't we don't need a high school reunion. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this camera. Gonna get rid of the light. Gonna click the press delete. Uh, go to the first add. You're gonna add here. Gonna add a reference photo. So since I changed the name. Okay, Shining Hopper, that's the name. You can't see it because my mug is covering the thing. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, Jody is scarred for life for knowing me for so many years. You know, she's, she's been, knowing me has, has scarred her for life. It's like, how could I know this guy for so long? like forever okay so now we're gonna go to the side image and we're gonna take that same picture we're gonna take the same picture because it has a, a side photo so we're gonna add it again Go for a reference here, find Shining Hopper one more time. Shining Hopper is going to be right here. And we're just going to line it up somewhat the same. So we're going to go here, three, okay. This one is not completely in the center. It should be, but it's not. There we go. Now, now. A little off. I don't, I don't know if I can get it. It's not that bad. Yes, it is. It is that bad. <laughs> You're pro we'll probably know each other when we're old and gray with wrinkles and everything. That's probably how long we'll go. We'll know each other. We'll we'll be there. I'll be there when your kids get married because you won't you won't be there when my kids get married because I don't have any kids. I don't have any children. I'm 40 years old. I have no kids. Can you believe that, guys? Can, can, can you believe that? Uh, I, I have no I have no sense of, of children in my life. It's like, hmm. Where are the kids? What happened? Like, I don't know. Let's 
So, Jody, what is up? How how are things with the family? Like, how how are the kids? How how is your mom doing? How's your mom been holding up? There we go. Empty. Single arrow right there. Yeah, there go. Single arrow. So we're going to add a plane here. Hopefully, I don't know why the plane for some odd reason always comes out flat like this. I don't know why. I, I'm try I always want it at like a 90 degree angle, but for some odd reason, it, it, like, it almost comes out like it's sleeping. Like, See? Look at that. Look, look, I don't know why it does this. Okay, so we're gonna go here and see if this. Okay, not what I was looking for. That's not the 90 degree angle I was looking for. Uh, maybe it's the Z axis. Hold on, let me see. Apparently not. I guess the best thing is to check the X, I guess. Mm -hmm. So it's not X and it's not Y. Uh -huh. I always just hate it when things don't go. Okay. Uh, everything is good. So is your mom, you know, walking a little bit, or she's still uh, not? She's still not walking. Do. this up to the front here okay. so first I need to fade this out it needs to it needs to get faded so we're gonna go here uh, I guess right there halfway okay that's see through right there same for this one guess we're gonna go with 40 and then click alpha Now, alright, so, uh, not walking. <sighs> Gotta do something to, uh, you know, try to get her to do do some walking, you know. Maybe we put a, a plate of food somewhere and say, if you want it, come get it. If you want it, you can come get it. It's right here. It's like, we got some dinner for you right here, Mom. All you gotta do is walk on over and come and get it. So right here, you know, it's like like I said, you know, you don't really want to work with something and then you're like, you, you, you can't match it up. You can't match it up. And, you know, that's a pain. So we're just going to go here. We're going to go to the modifier. We're going to go into mirror. Hold on. Get rid of that. We're gonna cl click here. Add the modifier. Let's see. Mirror. 
Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I think I know what happened. Hold on. Does it want to go? See, look at that. See, it's right there. But. Set origin to cursor. Modifier now, now we'll put in the modifier right now. Let's see. See, here we go. And now we'll just make sure it clips. See now. So now after that, it's clipped on, and look, now it stretches. See. It in there you go who do we have in here today who, who do we have in here because I don't I, I I know Jody's in here because Jody comes in here uh, when she she notices I go live you know because sometimes not everybody gets a notification I don't know why YouTube does this thing you know like you go live people click the post notification button and nobody gets a notification or at least not everybody gets a notification you know you get like a little less, little less than a handful of people getting their notifications i don't know why it's very very off-putting i don't know why youtube does that all right so we got that here what i'm gonna do now is just gonna select this right here i'm gonna select it and i want to cut it Cut right here. There we go. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go into vertices because I, I wanna make sure I can move the vertices. So. All the verses we're gonna go in the front because look at that, that thing is so far out. Yeah, gonna go right here, like three, and just move it like a like a smidge, you know, just, just a, a smidge because we don't want any sharp point because la last time I did this the first time I did this uh, I ended up getting some sharp points and that truly truly sucked I wonder. I wish I could line this up more because as you can see it's like a little bit off. It's a little off. As you can see this it's not all the way in the center of the gym. I have to fix that later. Hold on. Uh, do you take commissions? Uh, commissions on what? Commissions for modeling or uh, 3D prints? How do you thicken the helmet? It's not just 
flat faces. Uh, to thicken uh, a helmet, there is a um, a thickening modifier. You can solidify the the helmet, but it doesn't necessarily work all the time. So what what you need to do is actually make a inner shell. So what you can basically do with that is when you're making your helmet, uh, make sure to have one like the main body of it. You know, make a copy of it, make a duplicate, and put it to the side that is that way because you don't need to do any work on it. And then after you're finished doing all the detail and everything for the helmet, you could either at the end of it uh, bring back that helmet that has no detail or anything, bring it back to it, slide it into the set into the middle, and just try to um, bring down the size on all ends and you know from right to left and front to back and a little bit down and then connect them together by the by where the neck piece goes so it, it takes a, a, a little while so you know like when you have like a helmet you know similar to like this one you can actually do all of this work um, but you, what you can do is actually remove these pieces right here because as they hang off so you can remove this you can close it off right here you don't actually have to add even the details of the puck you can keep that flat and everything and you can don't have to add this either like close it off and you know make it a flat surface and then have this ordinary base you can have the eye still in there and then you can sharpen it up so that way you can actually remove the the eye holes and everything because you, you can keep them separate to print separately or you can keep them all together uh, you know whatever your preference is on when you're making these things like if you want to make a cast or uh, like if you want to make a mold out of it you know leave the eyes in uh, and you can make separate eyes for if you want to cast those out of resin uh, so when you place the inner shell here then you go to the the neck piece right here and then you just add faces right there and then close it off. Make sure you don't do it too thick because uh, then you're going to be using a lot of material and printing it. You don't, you don't want something that has walls that are that thick. And, you know, you use up a lot of material. And, you know, you'll have more of a snug feeling. You'd have to uh, make the helmet a little bit bigger. You know, we don't, we don't want that. We, don't, we want that whole bobblehead uh, type of look and feel. You know, for for our helmets, you know, you know, we don't want that. You know, it's you know, it's easy uh, once you once you get the hang of it. You know, it's pretty easy. So, I hope I could I was able to explain that uh, and enough well enough to you know you, that people could understand it. You know. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna we're actually gonna just add like going to you know select this again. Going to modeling. Select that. Going to edit mode. Back into edit mode. So I want some planes here. So, in fact, no, I don't want vertices. So we're gonna pull, click that, and we're gonna touch E, and we're gonna just go down s several times because you know. Like, And then I'm just gonna click all of these right here. And I'm gonna click E again for extrude. Oh crap, hold on. Forgot one thing about when you try to extrude from the center. So just back back shift. Uh, remove clipping because then you won't be able to get out of there. You can't move to the side. You only gonna go up and down. So after you remove clipping, you know, click E to extrude. And you know you can go right there, and it then you can click back everything, 
and go here click all these vertices and press F and you got the faces right here oh wait hold on that's not that shouldn't be there hold on a second okay that face should not be there okay so now we're just gonna select all of these go to the side shot in fact whoop, wait 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 select all of them actually select all of them and we're gonna bring them back so, so I gotta move it back here Scooch it back, you know, you just gotta scooch it back. Scooch huge. Uh so gold dust, what do you mean? What um so like I said, what kind of commissions huge? Asking about 3D modeling commissions or actual um print commissions. Cause with with print commissions I, I do them uh, as many times as I can uh, for 3d models I haven't taken on much suit because I am actually new I'm actually pretty new to the whole 3d modeling thing you know I haven't done a lot you know I just recently just did four I just modeled four helmets I uh, modeled the the new Chun Li shield from the from the the, the Power Rangers Legacy Wars, and I've also um, I'm working on right now the chest armor for Kamen Rider Build the Genius form and Kamen Rider Build um, the uh, no not Kamen Rider but Kamen Rider Zeo the his 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 base form. So those are the um, the current shields that I'm working on right now. So not 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 too shabby right here, not too shabby. So you know we're gonna go here and we're gonna extrude these vertices again. Not too much because I I do wanna get that center piece right there you know and and bring it down here so i think i'm gonna have to just scooch it a little bit to the side yeah right there. i think right there yeah scooch it like you know right there because there's gonna be like a little bit of a bevel where the mouth is so so far so good and obviously we gotta Take all of these vertices, go to the side, and we're gonna to bring this up a little more. So as you can see, we still got that nice round shape. Uh, I think what I want to do here is just, you know, kind of bring it more in right here. Just like a little, like a smidge, like a smidge, you know. Cause last time when I first started doing this, I made too deep, like of a curve. Like it, it came out like this. Instead of coming out rounded like that, like a, uh, like this, it came out more like this, like, you know, like kind of, kind of like a beak. That's what it came out looking like. It came out like a beak, and I was not happy, and I just had to. You know, start all over again. But as you can see right here, using the mirror, the the mirror modifier for this, it actually helps out so much that that it just it just works wonders. I, I'm I'm just telling you, it it has helped me out so much into making this. I should bring that down a little bit more. And I, I, I'm just telling 
and you like it saves a lot of time in working through the whole on both sides when you could just work on one side it, it doesn't necessarily work on every helmet because I do know there are some helmets like uh, Kamen Rider build uh, Kamen um, yeah in fact out of all out of all the Kamen Rider build forms there are no um, helmets that are the same way because they do have an, like a beveled design like a like a, uh, an engraving of like marks across the mouth area so you can't mir really, really mirror it because if you do you get one like this and one like this and you basically look like you got three V's uh, are on the face so you know it's not the not the best thing to actually be be doing you know but I, I'm telling you guys if you guys want to learn this it's not as hard as you know I thought it was gonna be when I first started and I'm sure you guys actually you know felt the same way you know you're like thinking to yourself oh my god I can't I can't really do this and you know that mindset um, will will affect you a, for a long time because I was I was there you know I felt like I couldn't do it I've had I had friends of mine 3d model things for me uh, so, and you know, you, you you try to understand it, and you try to to figure it out, and everything. And what you get is, you know, oops, hold on. You know, you, you just won't, won't get you won't get that where you won't get where you want uh, in this if you keep you know thinking that way that you know I can't do this I can't do that you know there are other people that can do it for me yeah and yeah I'm sure there are tons of people that you know that can pull this stuff off and do it because I got I got tons of friends uh, online that you know they do this on a regular basis they do this on a regular basis and you know and a lot of them uh, make good money on this you know and me I'm like ah oh, all I can do is is 3d model these things that's all I can do well I can't uh, not 3d model I can only 3d print these things you know I'm good at other things I can do I can do foam work and I can do um, woodworking and everything but the the issue is the fact that the matter is you know it's like the 3d modeling thing was always es escaped me I, I i couldn't figure it out whatsoever and you know it's taken me a long time you know to to figure things out and there are ways around it like there's the easy way to actually do the 3d modeling like if you have a friend that knows how to pull off game rips from you know from your favorite video game like if you want to do some halo armor you want to do some mass effect armor you want to do the weapons you know they're the weapons are going to be a lot of the stuff is going to be very like not highly detailed especially you know these are just game rips the detail lies in the skin of the model so you're going to be getting a lot of that instead so a, a lot of time when they when you get a game rip it comes with a with a mesh that actually has you know the design of the actual model you know like you'll see all of this color and you know and design so you know where to actually you know add detail where you need it to you know so the, you got the base form already so it's basically adding that detail and it's not really a fast thing you know working in detail is a little bit hard and I have tried in sculpting mode, but I'm not too good with it. I don't know if it's because I don't have my computer's not meant for that type of stuff for sculpting. And I, you know, I think I need a, a better, uh, maybe a better graphics card or maybe a, a better um, chip. I don't know, uh, but it it just takes a, a little, you know, a little time and effort to to do this, you know. With with this for me, I'm good with working in mesh mode. I can I I'm totally fine with that. I don't it doesn't bother me uh, about having to work in in mesh mode. So I'm gonna I'm actually going to unclip this part.
unclip that and then I'm gonna clip again and bring it up here because there's a, a detail here I, I forgot I almost forgot all about so because there's like a where the gem is right here there's actually like a it goes flat into the head and it look and there's an indention uh, so where the where the jewel goes, so I need to add this to to give it that little indention that's gonna happen right here where the jewel is gonna be. Uh, Joker Enigma, are you going to print the helmets you have designed? Uh, yeah, you know as long as you know I have the funds to do it, I will. Cause I so far I have like like I said I have four helmets and you know I'm trying to design. This is another helmet I'm, I'm gonna be trying to design for it. So you know, I got I have a lot of Common Rider helmet from the Common Rider uh, Zero One series, and I'm gonna be working on a lot of other Common Rider helmets because you know I, I feel that Common Rider hasn't gotten that much of a of a calling. You know, there's just more people that have been wanting to do Power Ranger cosplays. And you know, there's people that probably want to do a common rider that like common rider here in the like uh, in Puerto Rico and in the U.S. But there are not a lot of uh, helmets sold uh, unless you know you go through Anarchy or you go through Tyre Aslo and stuff like that. And you know, it's like it's it's so few in between because you know it's like hard to to come by. You know, and 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 at a decent price too. You know, it's like. It's all, it's all about, you know, cost and everything, you know, how, how long you gotta wait to get it. Uh, I started by turning Pepper Curl files into 3D models. That taught me enough to be able to pull off making a model from scratch. Yeah, you know, you can start little at a time. Every little thing can help you, you know, you can work with, with OBJs that are game rips. You can work with Pepper Curl files that you can convert into OBJ as long as you actually have the you know the unlock version of Peppercura, so, you know Peppercura designer you can actually save as an OBJ and you know like and you can start working from there and I've seen a lot of pep files like old versions of pep files that the um, the faces don't actually connect they're like all loose and you see some details of like um like antennas and stuff like that they actually go through the base of the helmet so then you gotta you know figure out your way of actually you know attaching it you gotta make a hole where the antenna will be and you can you know have it attached that way so you know it takes it takes a while uh love your videos one of of uh, the best prop makers on youtube you always take time to show your process from start to, st to finish well thank you you know it's um, one of the things i actually wanted to do you know it's like i always tell people like i could never find video tutorials that people do stuff from scratch with, with especially when it comes to helmets you know you saw time lapses you know you they don't they, people never explained it people didn't say what kind of paints they were using how to use the paints you know what technique they use how long it takes um, the sanding process what kind of sandpaper what grit you know and I was like somebody's got to do it Somebody's finally got to do it. If nobody's going to do it, I'm going to do it. You know, might as well share the knowledge and have other people know because, you know, sharing is caring and knowledge is power. So, so if I'm sharing the power, hey, that makes me He-Man. Uh, but without the muscles. I, I'm, I'm He-Man without the muscles. Like, so yeah, and this is a, this is actually a new form. Like I think this and this is just an art. I don't. I, it hasn't been even been released. I think this is supposed to be howling. This is supposed to be one of Vulcan's new forms. Uh, so I forgot what the name was, but I, I obviously it has a, something to do with the grasshopper. Uh, got the grasshopper right here in the symbol. So, 
But, you know, I was like, I don't I don't know if anybody's made it yet. So if I know if anybody hasn't made it yet, your boys got to be the first. Boys got to be the first. At least at least make the attempt of being the first. Yeah, so we're gonna do that, make that a straight line. So we're just gonna go right here, cause that's where the that's where the jewel is actually going to going to meet up. That's where we're gonna meet up with the jewel. So we're gonna go to this side here. Too bad, not too bad, okay. Now here comes the little bit of a kicker, cause okay, this indention goes a little in. So what we're gonna have to do is go to the side right here, click this. Did I got the right one? Yes I do. Always gotta make sure because you could click a vertices and you could be touching the wrong one. And then we got click F. So now we have that little indention that we need because the jewel will be going right here. And you know, everything is gonna be separated. It's gonna go a little bit higher that way. You know, there's a little bit of of give right there. There's gonna be like a little bit of give. So this should go a little higher. So we're gonna get another vertice. So it's basically I, I do it by plane by plane and you know, some people go do like we're gonna do some big planes and everything, and you could, you can actually do big planes, but there sometimes you gotta do small. You know, and it takes a lot more time when you're working with, you know, I mostly just work with two images. That's about it. And since I already made this base of helmet on several other ones because I did it for for Running Cheetah, I did it for Lightning Hornet, I did it for Vulcan, so. You know, this will be the same process of detail, except for, you know, right here, there's a little bit more detail because now you can see more of the side of the helmet. Uh, but everything else here is pretty much the same from all the other helmets that I've made in the past. Orville, what is up? What is up, Orville? How you doing? Welcome to the live stream, buddy. Welcome to the live stream. I do have a question about printing helmets. How long does it take for you to print a full helmet? It all depends on the helmet, really, but it would take days. It does actually take uh, a couple days to print. You know, the more, the bigger the helmet or, or the more detail, the longer it can take. Uh, I know there are some people who assume, you know, or, or think that 3D, 3D printing um, is a much faster process. And it's faster in the means that you can work on something while the machine does other stuff. So. It, you kind of kill some time while you know it's being printed, and you can you know work on you can paint and sand something else while you're of your cosplay while that's printing. But you know helmets in general, I think they could probably take you maybe max sixty hours, um, the most from what I know. Uh, you know, but if you have and if if you have to do it in pieces because some people have smaller printers, so. You're gonna have to cut it maybe into into several sections depending on what kind of 3D printer you have, and also you have to take in supports, uh, printing out some supports. So go back to school tomorrow. Well, nice that school tomorrow. Not me. I'm 40. I don't I don't have school. Yay! Kind of miss school though. I, I, honestly, I do miss high school a little bit. Not a lot, a little bit. Uh, what nozzle size do you use on your printer to print helmets? Because I'm trying. Uh, different. I use four. Mine, mine's is is four. I'm trying to different nozzles that will shorten the time, but I, I do lose detail. Yeah, just because um, you know it's like you could try all the different nozzle sizes you want. It's never going to really make that much of a difference in the speed 
of, of your print. You know, you can speed it up when you're, when you're setting to print it and you depending on, you know, the slicing program you use, you can go from fast, medium or high detail. You know, if you pick fast, you know, it'll take a little bit of time. Maybe it'll probably like knock an hour or two off. That's about it. You know, you're, you're, we're not knocking like hours and hours and hours off. It, it'll always take a long time. So, it, you know, a lot of people say they, they really want to try to knock off hours off their, off their print time. But in reality, it's not really possible to knock them to knock that much time off your your print. Just it's just it's how it is. You know, the printing is a waiting game. Uh, 3D printing is an is an actual waiting game. You can hear the crickets outside. Uh, good thing I have this this grade and 12th grade of high school you say good but then there's still college left buddy there's still college left and college is important if anybody tells you different don't believe them college is important now we're gonna extrude this. Go to E right here. Hey Joshua, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Just still having some freaking problems with my 3D printer. I was I like I, I got some new pieces and it was working fine. I was able to work with it for a couple days and now for some odd reason it's giving me issues again and it's delaying me so bad. It's delaying me so bad and I I'm I, I don't even know because it's like if it's one I've had my printer for for years now so I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm hoping that it doesn't break down, that it need like the whole thing needs to be replaced because I know nothing about circuitry, so I don't know what, what's what's going on. So, but it's like for this past month or so, it's like you know it's been one issue or another that's been causing me problems with doing some prints, and that's gonna cause problems with the channel because if I can't print something, then I'm screwed. <laughs> Uh, will any of the stores on Etsy, uh, will any of the stores on Etsy that sell Power Ranger helmets come back? I don't know because it all has to do with the whole thing with, with Hasbro and a lot of them had closed down because of it. Uh, so, you know, sometimes you'd have to, you know, buy a file from somebody that has them but doesn't have an Etsy store like me. I sometimes sell files and everything and but you know people contact me more through my Instagram or my Facebook or my Twitter you know people send me DMs asking me about this and this and that about do I have this file uh, am I selling the files you know, stuff like that and that's mostly I, I guess how things are done now uh, how people can actually obtain these uh, files e including the the prints including the prints is like that's how things are being handled now it's not like the best thing now because I uh, it's gonna cause a lot of problems with you know people trying to make a living you know like people are, are, are trying to make a living from this and now they can't because you know, Hasbro wants to be the only ones so, so I don't really know what's gonna happen in the long run with this whole thing so 
you know, because I'm, I'm worried myself because there's a chance they could even do that to me. You know, they could take what I do away. You know, they could send me a letter telling me I'm not allowed to sell anything Power Ranger related. Like, I can't sell helmets, I can't sell props. And that's I think, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to, you know, start, you know, working on doing some common writer stuff. You know, if I can, you know, make some some writer stuff, Hasbro can't touch me because, you know, the writer stuff was never released. Um, Hasbro doesn't own the rights to them. So. Your boy is good there. You know, he he ain't in he ain't in deep duty. Um, when it comes to that aspect of the whole situation with Hasbro, I'm good. But you know, it's like I don't really know because a lot of my friends and a lot of people that I know had Etsy stores that sold Power Ranger helmets, uh, files, and everything, and now they're gone. Or some that actually had stores that actually had Power Ranger stuff, they just removed the Power Ranger files altogether and you know kept whatever else they had. So, so like, uh, what kind of files were you looking for? Like, looking for anything in particular? Uh, I might do two years of college. You should do four years of college. Yeah. You know? Get, get yourself a good degree. That heart, the hardest helmet to make for common rider is common rider decade. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with that one. I've seen that helmet and uh, that 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 helmet gives me nightmares. You know, because the fact of the matter is, you know, he's got the whole thing underneath the lenses, and you know, it's like, I'm like, what the hell? Was like you like you feel like the designer who made this really didn't want people to copy the design. I'm like, are you serious? Like, are you serious? And you know the designer, you, you know the designer was like, yep, I'm serious. I'm like. Oh. So far, this thing is 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 taking shape. Yeah, so far, so good. Uh, see, da, 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 da. Oscar, I saw your Instagram on the 3D modeling of Common Rider ZL. Oh yeah, what'd you think of that one? I know there are probably some people that could do it better than me, but hey, I'm a beginner and I'm proud of what I did. I, I, I'm loving what I did. I'm loving it. All right, and and also, Common Rider game is hard of a helmet to make. Yeah, there are a lot of hard. A hard common rider. Like there's one I don't remember the name of it, uh, but it has to do with Onis, and it looked like like what the heck is the person seeing through? Cause I don't. There's no visor. It just looked like a freaking helmet with no eye holes or nothing. I'm like I want. I, I always wanted to make that one, but for the life of me, I can't figure out what the heck did they do so that the person in the helmet could actually see through their fight scenes I'm like dude share the information like how how is a person supposed to do this it's like, and, and you're like you're, you're like stuck on your own you don't you don't know what to do and you're like you're like stuck in your own little 
the world of like what are you what what what's a guy supposed to do? Hmm. And see, this is one of the one of the things that I've noticed about the about the arts. You know, it's like you notice these things are like a little off. You know, let's see. So I got the chin here, and then I go here, and it's like a little. I'm trying to I'm trying to see. Okay, so what I need to do is just, you know, maybe go. go I'm gonna go into object mode here. Click this and just raise it up a smidge. I'm going to raise it up a smidge. Wait, hold on. I gotta select it first. I select it and then raise it up a smidge. Okay, I think that'll help me a little bit. Because sometimes, you know, the art is like not exact from side to front, I don't know. Because it, it's, it's just how it is. Okay. Yeah, have to select that and then go into edit mode again. So there you go. Uh, and also, come, okay, I might look it up. What does the helmet look like? It, it just looks like a, I don't remember what the what the name of the character was like I, I, I might have to like google it myself as well like what exactly was the name because I know it, it had to do with Onis and I, I'm, I'm just gonna google it right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna google it I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I think oh yeah Common Rider Hibiki that's the name. Hold on. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Yeah, so it's Common Rider Hibiki. Like I said, it kind of, it looks like there are no eye holes. There's like, like if that's a visor, that is some good paint or whatever it is that they're using because it combines with the rest of the helmet. Like it's just, there's like, it's the same color. It's like, it, it looks solid. It's not shiny. And I'm like, and it, there's like several different colors. You know, there was like a silver, there was a, a dark blue, there was a, a red. I, I, I think there was a black and silver one. And, and I, for the life of me, don't even know how they managed that. Like, you, it, it, it would seem to be like an, one of the easiest helmets to model. Uh, minus the little lion piece because that looks like it has a lot of intricate detail that you might need to sculpt or something uh, but just the Just trying to figure out how to see through that thing for the life of me I can't it's been like for years I've been wondering to myself how the heck can you see through something like that and be able to do fight scenes You know and I paused I paused the crap out of that stuff I'm like looking and I'm looking and I'm trying to see is like is there, is there, are there like slits are there eye holes give me something and I can't find a single thing that shows that there are I don't I don't know if it's a big visor that the whole helmet is see-through like from the from the inside out, I would like to know how that's even possible. You know, I know you can dye, uh, pet G, you can dye pet G plastics because of the va those are vacuum form plastics, and you can dye them with with polyester dyes. And but for the life of me, I can't figure it out because because when you dye a helmet, it comes out shiny. These helmets of theirs are not shiny. It's more has a satin finish, like a satin matte finish. Common Rider Wizard and Common Rider XA is hard helmets. Uh, modeling, I would say hard. Printing and making, not so much. Because I've made I've made Common Rider um, Zombie and I've made 
X8. I, I, I printed those two helmets out. So, not, not necessarily as hard, but you know, it's pretty, it's pretty up there. And oh my god, printing it is a nightmare. Well, at least the one that I, I printed was a nightmare because the hair piece was solid it, it it was like it was separate from the head the the front part of the hair it was separate from the head and it took a lot of infill like i i put it at 15 percent, but still just printing the hair alone took forever you know that that sucker took a lot of time because their out their inner shell of their file didn't actually go up, match up with the whole thing. Like they made the inner shell like if he was bald, like very smooth and everything, and the outer shell was the, the design and the detail of the helmet. And for the life of me, I was like, I was like, how, 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 how. And to this day, I still don't know. To this day, I still don't know. Will I ever know? Hell, maybe not. Because <laughs> I don't, I, I don't see them um, sharing that that tidbit of information ever. You know, I, I don't think I can see myself printing, uh, modeling one of those from scratch. I could see myself working on it uh, based off a of game rip. Uh, and I do have a lot of, I do have a lot of common writer, um, uh, XNL um, files because a friend of mine has, has sent me a lot of them. Uh, that zombie writer is common writer Genom. Yep, but I'm I'm using the uh, the American way people call me like, uh, you know, zombie. It's like zombie. Okay, this got to go a little in. Okay, wait, hold on. And it's got to go a little in there. There you go. <laughs> Not too bad so far. Not too bad. Let's see here. Uh, and a good roundness to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's a little too far bent. I need to come in a little bit more. There you go. There you go, baby. There you go. So, you, uh, does anybody have like a question? Like, what kind of what, what have they tried, or you know, what kind of things that you want to know? What kind of tips do you like, guys? What kind of tips would you like? You know, you can ask me a question if you guys have a tip, or you want to know, you know, how one specific thing is done in you know working with you know planes and vertices and and edges and stuff like and faces you know you, you can ask feel free you know it's like it's tip day we're gonna give you some tips we're gonna you know help you out with a little bit of information because you know when i first started a long time ago i didn't really get that many people wanting to share their info it's like i'm the boss need the info i'm like dr evil why if it isn't Austin Powers. Oops, let's bring back the, the face here. Okay. So I'm all the way over there. So I'm going to have to... Ah. Okay, this has got to come back even more.
How do you make sure the helmet is round? Because my first uh, helmet turned uh, into oval. Well, uh, a lot of the time when I'm working on the helmet, I always make sure, like for me, I just, I, I eyeball the whole thing. And a lot of the time when you're working with the helmet, like let's say, you know, you're looking at it through the orthographic point of view. So, you know, like, this right here, you know, this is the orthographic view, but if you want to look at it in the normal view, it would be like that. You know, the user, my, the user perspective. So you can actually see, you know, the shape change a little bit. So, you know, this thing is like a little bit, uh, like getting a little oval shape. So, you know, what I do here is probably like, I'm going to cut here and just bring it out, uh, bring it out a little bit more. So we're going to. You know, just gonna select. I'm just gonna select the points because you know don't, you don't want something to become flat, flat, flat. You know, it looks good because it's it's big and everything, but you know, I don't I don't want to have something that looks like flat like a pancake. I want it to shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. So, alright, so what we're gonna do here, what we're gonna, gonna take the vertices right here, and you know, we're just gonna bring it out more here. Now that's what we need. We, we, we need to round it off more, because we, we don't want... We don't want it to get too thin. And you know something when you want to you want to lose less uh, faces, and you want to just make some big faces and everything like that, and then do that. No, this is this is the best way because you want to add as many faces as you want, as you can. I mean, as you can, and you try to make sure that it's not too you know overshaped. Because that's that was my mistake the first time when I was working on uh, like a red hood helmet. I I thought I was doing fine. But then when I saved it and, it and just to check it out, I exported it as an STL just to see how it looked. Oh my God, that thing came out like it was more like smushed. Like like basically like a clamp hit it from the side of the head and they smushed it all together. Uh, what technique do you use for the side of the helmet? Do you make big faces or or small faces that you can move and pull to make things easier. Uh, when I do the side of the helmet, I do like a, like pretty like medium size uh, faces because you know there's actually going to be some details I'm gonna have to go in. So I try to make sure that the faces are not too big because I actually need to I need to bevel a lot of these areas out. Like I gotta, I would have to bevel here. I gotta make like an indention here, a bevel here, a bevel all the way down here, across here, and then you know, it's like if I use small faces, it's probably like a, it probably would make things a little bit easier. Uh, but sometimes small faces uh, come with a little bit of problems when you try to try to bevel, you know. And I just like I mean, I just go medium. Like I, I, I. I I have the happy medium. I don't go too big. I go too small. I got myself a happy medium. You know, everybody likes a happy medium. You know, and if you guys want to support the channel, you want to see more videos, I'm going I'm to let you guys know. If you guys want to help out, all you got to do is go to that little link right here in the chat. You know, go to that link right there in the chat. Where it says coffee and my name Oscar Larea, you know, go, go over there, and you can actually donate by buying a coffee for the channel. You know, each coffee is about three dollars. You don't buy an actual coffee to drink; it's just you know what the what the support site is called. You know, coffee with a K O F I. And so you know, if you want to donate, you want to see more videos like you want to see stuff like this being brought to light. You want to see this stuff to be printed out. And made and finished and seen and maybe even show you guys how to make those lenses Cause a lot of people have been asking me about how to make lenses but to do this type of stuff I need the support 
of the viewers of the of the fam out there in YouTube land that likes the content. So you know, you know it's a it's a happy happy holiday, guys. You know it's like you want to support the channel. You want to you want to give myself a happy Christmas and and keep bringing content because you know things are tight and I haven't been able to bring you guys as many as much content as I like. You know, and I want to bring you guys more. You want to see more bills. You want to see more like that. You know, not just live streams. I know, I know a lot of you guys like live streams, but you know, I, I know you guys want to see some of that that content where you get to see some tips, some tricks, some techniques, all that type of stuff. So you know, if you guys want to participate and help out the channel, help it keep going, because believe it or not, guys, I I am only thirteen thousand watch hours away. From hitting the forty thousand watch hour time frame to be in review for monetization, you know, and you know, maybe may, let's see, you know, get some monetization. You know, you guys can see more videos, get more content, you know, show you guys a little bit more, show you guys things that I didn't get to find anywhere because YouTube was in its infancy when when I was watching it. You know, at minute, all videos were like ten minutes or less. You know, there was never such a thing as a as a twenty minute video. You you had to you had to be on YouTube for a while and have a, a certain number of I guess subscribers or something like that to be able to do longer videos. So. But now that's not a problem anymore. Now everybody can uh, upload a long video. You know, not that not that everybody should, but you could. Good, you know, you can even make a video. So you know, like I said, you want to support? All you gotta do is go to that coffee, and you can buy a coffee for me, and that that donation will go straight to helping the channel, buying some materials, buying some equipment to help bring you guys more content. Maybe eventually, even you know, if the channel goes good, we might even get a chance to to get some sponsorships and see about you know reviewing. Other types of 3D printers, maybe like some resin printers. Cause I would like to try to do some resin printing, especially for like the lenses for a common rider. You know, get do some nice, nice clear resins and everything. That, that now that would be nice. That would be nice to do some some of those and maybe some of those you know indentions and patterns that those common riders actually have and do it like in a colored uh, resin. You know, and still be able to be see through and it comes out pretty nice and smooth because you don't really see print lines in those things uh, at least not that I know of but you know those are the possibilities and showing you guys that type of stuff is what is important to show you and I love it I just love it so much and I, I gotta just keep showing you guys more and more of this as long as you want to see more of this stuff so you tell me do you want to see more you want to see more content? I'll look right here to you answer. I'll be right here. I just look in the middle of nowhere and I just, I just, I just, I just mind my own business. Like, Yes, I see a yes. I see a yes right there. <laughs> All right. Yes, I know I'm weird, but that's a, that's a good thing. It's it's good to be weird. So like I said, anybody want to donate, you know, you can, you know, make it a holly jolly Christmas, it's the best time to cosplay, making helmets, it's a holly jolly Christmas this year.
Better watch out, you better not cry. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just dancing around and acting like a fool. All right, so come on, hit me with your best shot. Hit me with some, with some nice questions, people. Tell me what you wanna know. Tell me what you're dying to find out about working with Belinda. What you wanna know about Blender? And a heads up to Edwin Rodriguez for supporting me on Coffee. I just saw your notification right now, and I'm gonna thank you right now. A little bit of shout out to you, Edwin. Thank you ever so much. If I knew, <laughs> I didn't know who you are in your thing, cause everybody's everybody's got a handle. Everybody's got a handle. So it's like, who is it? Who, who is it? Is it my brother? You guys remember that Michael Jackson song? Who is it? Somebody have my soul now. Who is it? I'm gonna take it from the moon. Yeah, yeah. Who is it? Is it a friend of mine? Who is it? Is it my brother? Ow! Don't stop begging me! Don't stop begging! How do you change the color for the final model? Like how you... Oh, that's uh, simple. Just let me... Um, let, me let, let me show you with my best shot. Come on and hit me with your best shot. Alright. So I'm going to show you right here. So I'm just going to go in the object mode so let me just take these off here all right you see here the body what we're gonna do right here is go to where these are because you got you know the mesh you got solid uh, this this one right here is if you had mesh for your model like if you like imported one um, and then you have like the shading viewpoint that doesn't really matter if you don't have shading all right, so we're gonna stay in this, in this one where I always use the. This is basically uh, the solid viewpoint. So you're gonna go here. I I go to Metcap and I actually imported. I, I downloaded these things off of off of um, Google. I went on Google. And I searched forever for these things. So I go like that, and I have all of these varieties. I have all of these varieties. So it, you can't really see it that much in. And this because you, you, it's not, you know, it's not even subdivision, so it, you, you get to see it. But you know, it's got several of these. Uh, yeah, it looks like clay mode, gold. You know, you got, got some shiny gold here. You know, kind of reflective. And there's this weird gold I have right here. It's got like an alien face on it. So you kind of, you kind of almost like see like a face there. It almost mirrors the whatever creature is facing I don't know why you know, like you could, you could like like see like a hint of a face somewhere there you go like creepy creature so you know it's all in the, it's all here right here in the in the met caps uh, so 
I, I end up tending to use, you know, this one most of all. But while I'm, you know, modeling, I just, you know, I stay with a with a, a basic form. You know, I go to this one right here because I get more lighting in the front. And so, um, so that, this is ba that's how basically I use the color. So if you're looking for like for that kind of stuff, you know, you can go on Google and click Blender Met Caps. Uh, but it has to be Blender because they're, they're also Met Caps for. Um, uh zbrush everything is in and you can't really load what's for, meant for zbrush to blender so you gotta really see what the site said what is it, what program it's for is it like for zbrush is it for um 3d cad or, or or another program it has to be specified for for blender that's that's the thing it has to be specified for blender So, but so yeah, now you see, you know, that gold, cause it doesn't really. I don't. I don't think when I had Blender, it came with that gold. And so you know, and it's you know, it's got random, it's got single, it's got material, it's got object. So it's it'll sometimes change. And then if you want like a dark background, like you want to change the color of the background, like hold on, let me put that back. Go here, and then you can you, know, you can make it black. You can make it black if you want. I think black is, makes things a lot better for to go to look through. You know, it doesn't look as you know. You can still see right through there, so you can still see the planes and everything. Oh, and so you guys know, I'm I'm gonna show you this right now. A lot of the time, uh, people when they're working with models, sometimes the faces will will be flipped over for some odd reason like it's not supposed the front will the back will be in the front or the front will be in the back or right like like I, I said so to find that out um what you have to do is go to right up here where this arrow is for viewpoint viewport overlays and we're gonna go where you can go where geometry is so from geometry you're gonna go to face orientation now and this is what i told you this is why, why i told you this as you can see, there are reds here. The reds are actually supposed to be in the back. And the blue has to be in the front. So what we have to do is actually select every single one of these faces. Oh, hold on. So we have all of those faces selected. Yep, we got all those faces selected. So we're gonna click. We're gonna go click Alt N and flip. And now all of our faces are are where they're supposed to be. Everyone in the chat left, even though there's like four. It says we have four people here. It says we got four people. I don't know if they're in the chat, but it's, it's, it says four people here. See, right, right, right here, it says four people. Four. Don't know why it says four if people left the chat, but it says there are four people here. guy is coming along very nicely. I think we're just gonna maybe maybe just raise this up a little bit more. Maybe raise it up a little bit more. Raise you up too. 
Let's see, new to your live stream, mate. Didn't know you worked on writer stuff too. I just recently started working on writer stuff because I love Common Writer, and no, there are not that many people making Common Writer stuff. It sucks. So if pe if they're not gonna be people to make it, I needed to learn 3D modeling to make it myself. And why not share it with the people that mean a lot to me? fam here on the channel so welcome paul to the live stream i hope you subscribe and i'm sure you did if you knew that i was live because only subscribers know when i'm live i think i have two weeks of school left before christmas break oh i remember those days of christmas break ah those were the good times where i used to be like going to school and and waiting for the bell to ring to go home on Christmas vacation and then look at the tree and and thinking what did my mom and dad get me for Christmas because obviously I wasn't a kid I was mean for Santa Claus I love Kamen Rider uh, Kamen Rider Blade nice I, I basically am a fan of almost every single writer and now that I, I'm learning to do 3D modeling, oh, dude, dude, it's like, I'm addicted. I'm, like, addicted to making writer stuff. I, uh, I it is, it is, like, no joke. I'm like, oh, I need to make some writer stuff. Cause nobody else is doing it. Like, why won't people make more writer stuff? I need some writer stuff in my life. So we're gonna click E again. Go right here. Oh, 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 eh, eh. Gonna click down. A little higher up. There we go. Oops, hold on. Yep. Click that one too here. There we go. Ah, oh, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. You know, when you're connecting faces, what you gotta do is, you know, click all the vertices and then click F, and you can combine them right there. So, you know, I'm gonna click all these three points and click F again to uh, connect all of that. And probably bring this uh, out a little bit like that because, you know, you don't want it too close to the edge. But, you know, bring it a little in, you know. Can't be that wide. It's not supposed to be that wide. See, not supposed to be there. This is like the hardest part, you know. It's like you want to make sure everything is is you know even and everything. So you know, like it's like uh, see, look at that. See, see, see. Look, <laughs> look at that. That's not supposed to be that way. Too far in. See, this is the pain. This is what's the pain in the butt. See, like. Took a while, but finally got it. Okay, I stumbled upon your Omega Ranger Red vid and started checking that out. 
uh, from there it's really cool checking out that out from there it's really cool that you're stepping up and feel that niche also nice to see another Hispanic fan around <laughs> Welcome to the game of the Latino fandom that likes Power Rangers and Kamen Rider, you know? I might not be as young as most of you guys, but at least I love it regardless, you know? You know, they're not that, and I, I never, I haven't seen a lot of fans here that like Kamen Rider stuff in Puerto Rico. You know, in fact, no one where I live has ever cosplayed as a Kamen Rider ever. And I think I should, you know, maybe next year when, when Puerto Rico Comic Con comes around, maybe I should cosplay as one of the common writers that I'm, you know, modeling to do. I have seen common writer Ghost and common writer Zero uh, One, common writer High Seeing Generations, Final, and Superhero Tyson Z. Nice. You see a lot. That's a lot of stuff, dude. I sometimes download the the episodes uh, from a website, and I'm like looking at the stuff, and I'm always like always checking it every everything out. And I, I love to watch these here. Like some of my favorite uh, series from Common Rider, I would actually have to say uh, I love Common Rider Rider Wizard. I love Common Rider Double. Uh, build I love and I love Zio the I love zero one it's like but like those right there like my my ultimate favorites and I and I try to watch a lot of them and some episodes are not even downloadable anymore because you can't find a torrent for it and there's like it's like <laughs> and some sites you got to be careful with because you could probably get a virus or anything I hear cracking your audio Can you hear me now? Is that better? Can you hear me? Can you see me? But yeah, like what do I like my I, I like I like ghosts. I love Fies and I love Common Rider. Oh, I don't know if you guys seen that one, Common Rider. Oh, you know, the one with the coins, like. Like that right there is one of my favorites. Like, I could watch Kamen Rider O several times. Uh, like, I, I just do like a lot of them. I wish they were if they brought them to the U.S. I would hope, I would hope they do a decent job because I the only time they brought ever Kamen Rider to the U.S. was twice was um was that spinoff from Power Rangers. And then uh, a separate series of Common Rider, which was Common Rider Dragon Knight, which is how I started watching Common Rider. So you know those are my jam. Those are my jam. You know, and you know cosplay wasn't even a thing for me at the time when I first saw this. So you know I was like I need it. Loving Common Rider Ghost is an unpopular. You know, I, I I I like it. You know, it's a good it's a good Kamen Rider series. You know, and you know I I seen it. I enjoyed it. 
you know, everybody has their own, you know, favorite kind of, of rider and everything. And, you know, Kamen Rider, uh, for me, my my main, main, main favorite, if I had to pick one, is my main favorite. I would say it was it, ha it had to be Kamen Rider Double, you know, because that's when I started rewatching. I started watching Kamen Rider again, and that was that when that series came out is when I started watching it. Uh, so uh, that right there was my my entryway to the Kamen Rider fandom. You know, it's like I even had a Kamen Rider double driver. But unfortunately, when money got tight for me, you know, I was unemployed, I needed cash, I needed to pay the light bill so we would have power in the, in the house, I sold the belt, I sold the driver. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, I am so, so sad that I lost my, I, I had to give up my driver and my Gaia memory and everything. It was like the first Kamen Rider, the first and only piece of Kamen Rider merch that I ever owned. So I like <laughs> it was like it, it was like it was it was like it helped me. I I I got to pay my bill, but still it was so sad that I had to I had to give that up. And I, I and I only had it for like maybe a month until I I, I was like oh I don't have money for the bill, so I had to put it up on eBay and it sold pretty fast because I I guess a lot of people were looking for the driver. I realize Haiti Kamen Rider Ghost. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of other people that like it. I think I've even seen some people cosplay as ghosts um, at some U.S. conventions. You know, I was like, like mm-hmm. But, you know, it's, I know, I, I'm sure, I don't know how big the fan is because I know they're other series that were more popular than others and I think Ghost was one of them you know it's like it's just um, overshadowed by other Kamen Rider series so don't don't hate just appreciate don't hate just appreciate people that that's how you do things in the Kamen Rider world Just appreciate, appreciate what you got, my peeps. We're gonna extrude again. Are we gonna? Hold on. No, no. Don't repeat that. Never repeat that. Never. We go down, we go out, we go up. Hey, little lower. There we go. This is fun. Let's get that a little, little bit more. Yeah. There we, there we go. There we go. Kermit the Frog here. I found a Common Rider double belt for eighty six twenty one on eBay. If you want it, I would want it, but I am unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, dead broke. I am a poor fanboy and prop builder. Business has kind of died. You know, when the holidays come around, business is not really good you know it's um 
business kind of dies during the holiday season. So what what you gonna do? What you gonna do for a Klondike bar? What you gonna what you gonna do for a Klondike bar? Um, bum, bum. What will you do? So yeah, I'm unfortunately I can't buy uh, a double bell because your boy is sadly uh, still unemployed um, after. Woo! I think we're I, I think we're going now on um, since 2017. Like I do props and everything, but you know it's like. The holiday season is a slow one, guys. The holiday season is a slow one. So, I have to see what I can do to, you know, to pick things up. You know, got to pick things up. Got to see what I can do. You know, money, um, money just does everything. You know, it's like, like, what can you do? At least, you know, at least some of you guys can actually do help and you actually, you know, help out with the, with the fan, with the, with the channel. You know, you support by making uh, little donations here and there. And, you know, I saved that little money up so that way, you know, when we get some money uh, together, you know, I buy some, some filament uh, to make some bills. Like, I was hoping to, you know, get some filament because on, on Cyber Monday because you know how Amazon actually, you know, has, you know, Cyber Monday sales. So, and I found this awesome de deal. I found this awesome de deal on filament that twelve thirty six for a spool of two pound, like normal size two point two pound filament. And I was gonna get it. It was like twelve ninety five, but you know, money is getting tight. I still have orders that I have to ship out for 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 orders that I've had for a while. And finally gonna ship out and that's taking money you know from that so you know I gotta hold on to as much as I can until until you know I get something coming in you know you know when when, when you when you have no job guys you gotta do what you can and try to save every penny you know you gotta sacrifices have to be made sacrifices have to be made and you know you know I have to sacrifice you know Hey, Mandalorian is pretty popular right now. How about you make some props uh, from the show? Well, I'm trying to find like good pictures. As I, I'm not really good at like that intricate, that little intricate detail with Blender. Um, I'm gonna see if I can actually um, maybe model something using Fusion 360. And if you guys don't know what Fusion 360 is, it is another 3D building program, which I ended up getting it for you know, as, as a present from someone years ago. Um, and so, because it's a, it's an expensive thing, so I, I got a hook up from a, from a friend of mine. So we're go, we're going we're going to see we're going to see because I do want to do some Mando stuff because I, obviously Star Wars has a huge huge fan base and I, I I think you know a lot of people would like to see you know some you know some Star Wars stuff because who wouldn't want to see some Star Wars stuff And welcome, Sandy. Oh, Sandy, can't you see I'm in Missouri? You made us stop, now we're apart. There's nothing left for me. <laughs> I think you can make some money in Greenville, South Carolina. I can help you to find customers. Just let me know. Well, I need some customers. I desperately need customers. I even put a sale up on on Facebook. I put a sale up on Twitter. 
I put a sale up on Instagram so, you know, people find it, you know. We're trying to get some takers because imagine this guy. Because I'm trying to save some money to buy a second printer. I, I, I need to buy a second printer because if this thing, if this one right here keeps breaking down and giving me issues, I'm going to be out of business altogether. So, you know, hopefully, so, you know, I'm happy. Because tell me this, tell me this, guys. Is this, is, is this a bad deal? Getting two raw 3D printed helmets for $200 and then you get one free. Is, is, is that not a, a badass deal or what? Is that not a badass deal? Get two helmets, two raw 3D printed helmets for 200 bucks and you get a third raw 3D printed helmet for free. And I've been having that sale now on for like two weeks. I've had that sale going on for two weeks. And I still have two weeks left in the sale. Because I wanted to do it as a holiday Christmas sale. So I thought about ending it the week before Christmas, like the last Saturday before Christmas. You know, in case, you know, some people wanted to get something, you know, order it, you know, before the holidays, you know, something like that. That way when they come into the new year, you know, you know, 2020 comes around and they're going to be getting three helmets. Uh, uh, during the new during the new year that they could use for future conventions for the new kind year, you know. Oh, I know you love that song, Sandy. I know you love it when I sing it. You know, Sandy, my darling. Sandy. You know, I could even do that squeaky part that that John Travolta does at the at the end. Sandy. Sandy. Talk about cheesy. I am such a cheese ball. So is everybody ready? Because it's almost two weeks until Christmas. Basically two weeks until Christmas, guys. Well, two, two and a half. You know, everybody, is everybody ready for Christmas? Everybody going to be with their family? Got my Comic-Con 2020 tickets. Nice. Which Comic-Con? San Diego or New York? Which one is it? Which convention is it? San Diego or New York City? I go to New York City. No. I go. To, I go. No more. Unacceptable. I go. New York City. Anybody remember that movie? Um, shoot, I forgot the title myself. Uh, that one with Tom, Tom Hanks. He came from from another country and he got stuck in the airport for like six months, or nine months, I think it was. I don't know. Oh, you lucky, lucky girl! I've never been to San Diego Comic Con, and I heard getting tickets for San Diego Comic Con is a nightmare. It is an absolute nightmare. Like, you literally have to struggle, like online and just in hopes to get into the queue from what I heard to to get a ticket
So remember guys, if you want to wish me a, a merry, merry Christmas and a happy New Year or a happy Hanukkah or a happy Kwanzaa, depending on what you celebrate, you know, you can donate to the channel and support me, you know, help me raise money to get a new CR10. You know, I, I got to raise about 500, I actually had it guys, I actually had the money for a, a new printer and then my cars... My car got so messed up, it cost $1,200 to fix. $1,200? No joke. No joke. I, I don't know how many people have bad luck like that. If you ever have bad luck like me when it comes to stuff like this, I feel your pain and I'm so sorry. Hopefully, you get better luck in the new year. Hopefully. I do hope for that. Cause I don't. Nobody deserves to have bad luck like that. Nobody. So, yeah. It's, uh, I am first in line for next year. Look at that. You first in line for next year? Oh, you're driving me crazy. Like, so lucky, 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 lucky. Oh my god. I bow down to your presence. I bow down to your feet. So like I said guys, you know, you can you can help support the channel, help me raise money for a new printer by going down to the coffee link right there, or you can actually donate by going into my you know my PayPal. You can go right right to my PayPal. I think my 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 stream labs yes, my my nightbot has given you guys the email address. You can go golden imagery photography at yahoo.com and when you make a donation through through yeah through my PayPal you know you get a little notification right here on the screen where it shows that you actually donated like Sandy right here donated and her name showed up on here and you know like that's how that's how come we got into 21% because she made a big donation so thank you for her she made a that nice nice charitable donation to the channel and I love her for that because we're gonna be building a pepper pots armor a 3D printed pepper pots armor and we're going to be using some stick on a vinyl like they use for cars to make that build no paint we're going to go all way stretch heating vinyl gold and metallic bluish purple whatever that color is that's what we're going to do yes Get me your code and we'll buy your tickets. A co what code? There's a code? My zip code? My area code? My ID code? So like I said, if you follow what the Nightbot says right there, you can donate through the PayPal and help the channel grow. Because we're almost to the 40,000 watch hours, guys. It's taken me over a year to get close to 40,000 watch hours and go into review for monetization. So we're getting close. We're getting there. We're almost there. We're getting a little bit closer and we're almost there. 
little bit, little bit. Maybe, maybe a couple weeks from now, we will have reached that goal. We will see. It could be. It's, 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 it's almost there. It's there. Man. Because of you guys. You, 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 and you right there. You don't know. You don't think I see you? I see you right there. That's right. The thing you do. I see you right there. I see you sitting at your, at, in your chair and everything. And you too, I see you laying in your bed, just relaxing and chilling. Yep, uh, you need to sign up to San Diego Comic Con and get a code. You need that to buy. Oh, I did not know that. This this, this is all new to me. I, I, I never, I've never experienced anything related to San Diego Comic Con except for what I've seen on the Big Bang Theory and what I've seen on YouTube. That's about it. I'm like a. I'm like a, I'm really like a hermit, guys. I my forever for, in my house. The last time I took a vacation was in 2011, and I went to no wait. <coughs> yeah, 2011, and I went to Disneyland for the first time ever in my life. I was in Disneyland, and I could I, honestly, I kind of said, I kind of like said, I feel like a Toys R Us kid, even though I was in Disneyland. But I felt like a kid in 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 Toyland, you know. I felt like I was a babe in Toyland. There you go. That's a better. That's a that's a title of a movie. So I felt like a babe in Toyland. Okay, so I will I will see about signing up, up for um, San Diego. I will go there, sign up for a code, and see what to give me. I think I need a shave. You think I should shave? I don't know. Or should I should I grow the beard? I know I need a haircut. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a little too long here. I need, I need to trim. I need to trim all of this. I'm getting bushy, I'm getting bushy, and not in a good way because there is no good way of being bushy. Well, some guys look good in a mustache, you know. You know they can pull off the whole anchor mustache. You know. I tried that once, believe it or not. I, I let my hair grow so long, and my mustache kind of grew out. I, I kind of like I would like wax the tip of my mustache and and, and you know and you know, curl it up a little bit. You know, I, I was like, it was kind of weird seeing me that, uh, that way because I had never thought I would ever attempt that. So, and I even thought about this maybe, maybe like make my beard gray or silver or whatever, and then do that, and then keep the rest of it, my hair black. I don't know. I was like, it, it, it just you know gives get that whole vibe of back in the day, people you know having those mustaches and beards, you know, looking like, hey, look at me. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Everybody's quiet. I don't see anybody talking. Did you guys die?
Oh, where, oh, where has the fan gone? Oh, where, oh, where can they be? I saw Sandy, but maybe she had to leave. Oh, where, oh, where can she be? Okay, she's still here, ladies and gentlemen, she's still here. And I am still 3D modeling, guys. I'm still, still working on the models here. Look at that. Still, 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 you know. Kind of see what we can accomplish here. Because we're, we're, we're getting close to, to get at least half of the front of the face done. You know, it takes a little bit of while. You know, I probably could have done it a little bit faster. But, you know, I'm talking to... My peeps here. I'm talking to my peeps. You know? Gotta give time for the people. Because if you don't make time for the people, you know, what's the point of doing stuff like this? Well, you don't... Because people matter. People matter. Goodwill towards men and women. See how I fix that? Because usually, it, usually it's meant to say goodwill towards men. But, you know... It's, it's good to goodwill towards women and men. Equality between the sexes. I sound like ginger spice. Equalize girl power. Equalization between the sexes. Yes, I watched that movie. Do I feel? Am I embarrassed that I watched that movie? No, I'm not. I was a I, I was a bit of a of a Spice girlfriend. I love their music. I'm not embarrassed to admit that. They had some good tunes. Shoot, you can ask me any question you want, Sandy. Going to work on on Mando cosplay soon. Oh, going to work on Mando cosplay soon, and we'll be using your spider. Man mask helmet for shine to shine. Nice. I like to see a picture of that when it's done. I want a photo. I want a picture. <coughs> Comic cons are nice, you know. Some are bigger than others. Some are like smaller. They're like more like a seem like a neighborhood con because because they do use the name Comic Con, but you know they're like a little on the small side. Dino Charge Red was nice. Dino Charge, wow. 
That was a good. That was a good season. I he I I've noticed that he's like he's like real cool with a lot of people. You know, he treats everybody like like they're buddies and they, he's like known them for years and stuff like that. So that that's that's really nice of him to to do to, with people. You know, like you know, treat them like you know they they're buddies and pals. I feel like I, I'm about to go bust into like a an ABC special like. They're brothers, they're happy and they're singing and they're Give me a high five I don't go to cons. I go once in a while, especially if they're like at least in dry, like not too far from my house. Cause like I said, guys, I I, I kind of watch my penny, so if I can't pay for gas, I'm not going anywhere. It's like ha 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 ha. I was like wondering how come it was not highlighting the thing. Oh yeah, look at that. It's almost taken shape of that main face. I had to fly five hours to go to Power Morph Con. Yeah, I kn I know from for me like if I was to go to Connecticut like where I used to live, I think that's a four hour plane ride. So imagine me from Puerto Rico to to uh, San Diego, California. <laughs> that's a long flight right there. I'd be like, oh, I, I most likely would probably be sleeping on the plane. Like, I, I honestly would probably be like, and then like literally, I'd be in a different time zone, and still probably tired because I wouldn't be in the right time zone. I'd be like, I'm, I'm kind of sleepy. this a little bit deeper because as you can see this thing has to go over here see we gotta stretch it stretch this out a little bit more then go we need to go here just straighten it out you know make it a little bit more even steven so you know so far so deliciously good I met the YouTubers MMPR Toy. Oh, I would love to meet them. They're, they're like 
There was there was one time like I sent Bruno a comment and then he commented back saying, "What a coincidence! You commented me while I was watching your video." So he was actually watching one of my Power Ranger build helmet videos at the time that I sent him a comment after watching his one of his videos. So I'm like, "Hey, awesome!" I hope I get to meet them one day. I hope that their channel is, is going to be fine at, um, in January because I know they're having a lot of concerns and uh, worries about the whole thing about, you know, what's going to happen with the channel, with the, you know, meant for kids content and stuff like that. Give me a high five. extending that because that's going to be basically the base to hold that other piece on there I might have to delete it after because I can't really see now the design Every actor I had met at Power Morphicon was nice. Yeah, they seem nice. I've I've only met like a little less than a handful. Like I've met Johnny Young Bosch, I met Walter Jones, Jason David Frank, uh, um, Steve Cardenas. I met I met David Yost. Uh, I think those are the only ones I I have ever gotten a chance to meet. Those, those were the only ones because those are the only ones that ever came to Puerto Rico if there was another one it probably was the Yellow Ranger um, I think I don't remember which one it was because it was a long time ago uh, but I think it was I think it was the one that played Aisha I think it was that one I don't remember Could it, was it Aisha? I don't know Do, 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 do. I see a comment here. You should design Iron Man helmets or a helmet in the style of, of Joker. I don't know because 
Uh, I don't know. I'm in the style of Joker. I don't know. I guess. I guess you could probably like roboticize his his face, in a way. Cause, cause if you did an Iron Man thing like the Joker, it would more like just be like Iron Man with the Joker colors, like what they did with the whole Batman cowl in the Joker colors. Like he spray painted all over the thing and made it look like purple green and stuff like that. <clears throat> so far, so good. I got a hug from Andrew Gray who played uh, Tone Troy from Power Rangers Mega Force. Nice. Uh, compared to your first helmet uh, you designed on Blender to the last one, is it easier? Well, when I designed the first one, uh, I was very confused and I was asking a lot of questions. And I think I probably knew a little bit more because I was like looking, watching a, a, a video. And there were like no, there were not really any videos to to do helmets and everything. So I, I was like trying to concentrate on, you know, the technique. So I was able to memorize some of the, the directions. So it makes it easier now because now I know um, a few techniques by memory that I can, you know, keep using and everything. So it, it kind of helps out uh, a little bit more now that I have things uh, completely memorized. Well, not completely memorized, but memorized enough. You know, sometimes I still go back to to other videos, and, and sometimes I'll ask my friend Robert, who does a lot of modeling with with Blender, and I'll ask him, you know, does he know some techniques and everything? Uh, how do I do this? How can I do this? Like, how do I do pipes? How do I do you know little curve wires and stuff like that? Because uh, when I was doing uh, Common Rider Genius Mode uh, for build. I, I didn't know how to do the whole tubes because it's like you know curve and how do you make a tube and everything yeah, so he kind of helped me out with, with that one so you know little by little I learned more and more techniques and I started um, knowing what else I'm supposed to do you know and sometimes you got to guess on on how things form in detail like you see in this in this picture right here you kind of have to see how it's drawn and then adjust to how you perceive it to be on, you know, in the helmet so you know it, it, it takes a little bit of a time and try to work on something but you know eventually eventually we get there eventually we get there so, so. 
Uh, but yeah, you know, guys, we've been here for like about two and a half hours. Um, I think we're gonna call it uh, a night. It's already about three nine o'clock over here. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna head off. Uh, do some other stuff that I gotta do because I got some stuff I gotta ship out tomorrow morning because uh, I got some errands to do and everything so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream as much as I did and thank you for coming here for being a part of the live stream and thank you again for the one who donated three dollars to my coffee you know thank you so much for that I'm gonna I'm gonna save that in in the PayPal for, for when I have some more funds from donations and stuff like that to to buy some filament, you know, and you know, hopefully we bring some content because I'm gonna be. I do have a, a helmet that I'm gonna be working on. We're gonna be working on Mega Force Silver, you know, Gokai Silver. So we're gonna work on that, guys. So, so uh, I hope I see you again for the next live stream, and hope to drop off that uh, next build in um, in the next couple of weeks. So I hope I can get that video to you guys soon. So. Have a nice time, have a nice night, 